What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Bloodsworn, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Ben 10 Power Trip video. And today, we're going to take a look at every single alien available in the game. Now, so I know what you're annoying. saying, Blitz. Why is the screen split screen? Why are we seeing Ben 10 on one side of the screen? And, of course, on the other side, we are indeed seeing uh, Kevin 11. Well, because they both have different aliens, so we're going to take a look at said aliens now with that in mind i do want to raise one weird question about ben 10 again i'm not knowledgeable on this franchise at all so i really do want to pose this question to you guys as the viewers and that is how can ben 10 be called ben 10 when this game only has six aliens that you can turn into like I'm confused. I thought he was called Ben 10 because he turns into 10 aliens. Am I wrong about that? Let me know in the comment section below. If I am, that's perfectly fine. I understand. I'm a noob. I get it. But I do want to go on ahead and hear from you guys. So a bit of a preview screen here for what you can expect. Looking pretty epic indeed. But with that in mind, let's get rocking and let's get rolling. We're going to start with Ben 10's aliens. So we're going to hit, uh, kick things off with Heat Blast who is an alien that is obviously fire or flame based. He has the double jump ability, which is what makes him unique. And of course, he also does have the flame burn ability, which is also really, really cool. As far as combos and wombos, he's got different combinations that most of the time, once again, will include flame particles and effects around them. From there, we're going to proceed onwards and forwards to the next character on our wheel, which will be Wrath. Now, Wrath is a really, really unique character because he is much more so about mobility. He's not that much of a useful character aside from very, very specific moments where you can use him to like climb posts and go on ahead and scale things quickly. So aside from that, he's not all that much of a useful character, but he does look cool. I mean, he looks like Tony the Tiger. Uh, if Tony the Tiger, Tiger hit the gym every single day of his life. Uh, he does have some pretty cool combos as well, as you can see. Just a much more kind of traditional uh, character. He does have a few different moves as well. So first of all, he has the ability to track things down. So there's a few side quests and I think one or two main missions that require the kind of sense ability where basically he uh, finds a trace of a smell and then you try to track it down so pretty unique in that sense and then he does have the mighty roar as well from there we proceed to forearms who is the slowest of characters as you can see he kind of moves very 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 slowly aside from maybe one other character that i think maybe is tied for how slow that character might be moving he does also have a, just a single jump whereas if you might have noticed wrath actually has kind of a single jump but he does a leap forward as well so you can actually get onto a little bit of a higher bit of terrain than you can with forearms forearms is uh the powerhouse character not that the other characters are not powerful but this is definitely the i guess hulk equivalent uh out of all the aliens so this is why his main ability is similar to what you would see from a hulk type character he can dig up a giant piece of a rock and then use that as a long-ranged weapon and aside from that he really does not have any unique abilities he can carry heavy objects in the game so there's a few puzzles where you can move heavy objects and smash like giant cracks in a wall but aside from that his main showcase is pretty much just his strength and that's all that he has to offer um to the game from there we transition to shock rock now shock rock is actually a really unique character you can see that his running animation seems at least in my mind to be a tad bit quicker than that of um oh my goodness forearms but again if forearms is not the slowest then maybe shock rock is i actually do really like the design for shock rock i think it's a really cool looking alien i've never seen it uh, before in any other Ben 10 game, so I think this might be a newer uh, design. It's a cool idea. He's basically kind of an uh, electric alien. Most of his combos uh, allow him to generate basically different weapons out of what seems like uh, energy or maybe electricity itself. So he creates like a baseball bat or like a frying pan. There will be different weapons. Like right there, you saw a frying pan that time. That time was a baseball bat again. And you also get the shockwave effect from the electric side of things. He can power up and power down uh, electric sections in the game so that's kind of his unique ability and he does have a grapple ability so there will be points in the game where you can actually grapple to them using his r2 ability as well from there we transition to 
quite possibly the most uh, useful of the, all the aliens, and that is Accelerate. So Accelerate is the speedster alien. He's obviously very, very uh, skinny and very, very limber, but by holding down R2, you can go into this really hyper, hyper quick animation and you get to move around the terrain super duper fast you want to watch out not to run into objects like that because i don't know seems like it probably would hurt to run into an object at that type of a speed but uh he does have a really cool long jump actually so he doesn't jump very high but because of his r2 ability you can hold that down and then jump and you really really can jump very far so he's really useful in that sense more so for long jumping than for short jumps and he can actually also glide or slide onto blue terrain so like you'll see these little sections here uh, of wires up above for example or even right here and you can basically kind of like rail slide across them so that's another cool ability again very much a character that is based on just being able to move around very very quickly from there we're going to transition to our certainly last but not least alien for ben 10 and that is diamond head now diamond head is uh i think one of the original aliens just like i think heat blast is also one of the originals and he's obviously a character that's kind of based on diamond slash ice kind of shards uh design so the closest comparison i would draw as far as like a let's say marvel or dc character i'd probably compare him to like iceman in fact his really cool ability is the fact that he can go on ahead and do create like a ramp out of I guess they're supposed to be diamonds, but it really does look more so like ice. And you're able to go on ahead and glide across really, really long terrain. So you're basically able to create almost like bridges by uh, gliding and sliding. A really, really fun character to play as. Really great combos and quite possibly the most useful character as far as... Um, long range battles are concerned because as you can see he can also generate walls and these walls are reflective so if a blast gets fired at them it actually deflects back at the enemy which is super duper useful from there let's go on ahead and transition to kevin 11. now for kevin 11 if we bring up the uh, character selection screen you'll notice very 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 different looking aliens but the powers are gonna remain the same so for example right here we have I'm assuming it's supposed to be Heat Blast still. Again, for those of you that are Ben 10 enthusiasts, I'm sure you'll have a lot more knowledge on uh, this character. I just personally don't know their specific names, but uh, I'm assuming that this is just a variation of Heat Blast for Kevin 11. I think it looks really cool, especially if we put the two of them side by side. You'll notice that they really do just look very, very cool. And there is actually quite a few differences there to these designs so i do like that they went ahead and actually didn't just recolor heat blast but they added like for example the spikes on the uh, shoulders the design on the collar the uh like kind of more armor of plates on the legs it's actually unique and different in that sense but keep in mind the powers will be exactly the same so you'll see that the in the top left corner of each one of their screens the power sets are exactly the same so he, he does have the uh, fire blast ability and so does he so and this one can double jump and this one can double jump as well so no differences there whatsoever all right from there let's transition to the equivalent of wrath who looks really cool he's kind of more of a wolf design so once again like i said i really do like that the designs are so different he does have the smell ability and of course that mighty roar as well as the leaping jump again very very cool to see the fact that the aliens are still so uniquely different so one's a tiger one's a wolf it's not like they just took the tiger recolored it like green or blue or something and said like okay well there's kevin 11's version of that alien so i think that that's definitely quite neat from there we transition the equivalent of a forearms who looks absolutely sick i actually like this design better than forearms i think the purple black and red just looks so sick and such a cool color combo looks very very cool i like that he also has the um spiked knuckles kind of reminds me of knuckles from the sonic uh video game and uh, just for comparison's sake obviously here's forearms standing next to him so you can kind of see uh which design you like best then we have the variation here of shock rock which seems to be a very very different take whereas some of these other designs definitely looked quite similar but if we compare shock rock and this almost looks like a vine kind of 
monster where he seems to be more based in like vines and things like that it's interesting because his weapons as you can see are still the same so he still creates a baseball bat but it's like a plant baseball bat but i do like the fact that again it looks like within the mythos of ben 10 they made it nice and different where kevin 11 does have his own set of unique aliens instead of once again rehashing and reusing the ones that ben 10 has available then we transition to accelerate which again definitely quite similar designs not a whole lot of differences there it just looks like the um, kevin 11 variation is green and seems to be a lot more armor plated whereas the ben 10 design is a lot more kind of limber and simplified so that's the big differences that i would point out uh between those two but once again powers are indeed shared then we have of course last but certainly not least kevin 11's answer to a diamond head and once again there is definitely quite a bit of similarity here i don't know why this particular design from uh, kevin 11 reminds me of megatron from the transformers it just seems like more of a transformer and for some reason maybe it's the colors like the purple kind of different color variations really do make me think of galvatron or megatron from the transformers or i guess decepticons more specifically franchise and once again he does have also that glide ability and the wall ability but obviously the crystals that he generates are purple instead of the kind of lightish green blue teal uh design that you see from diamond head and so with that all in mind ladies and gentlemen let me know what is your favorite alien on the ben 10 omnitrix there are six to select from and of course in addition to that let me know what is your favorite alien out of the six that are available on kevin 11 with all that in mind thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed have an absolutely fantastic day and i'll catch you all here next time peace out everybody Hope you guys enjoyed that video and just a quick heads up. Don't forget, guys, if you'd like to support the channel furthermore, beyond just leaving a like, consider becoming a member of the channel. Members do get exclusive perks like exclusive emotes. In addition to that, you do get priority in sub game streams as well as custom game streams. Plus, you would get access to the exclusive channels over on the Discord server. Thanks all for watching the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.